most, if not my entire life, I've had some sort of, call it an energetic connection with the non-physical. Uh, some might call it spiritual, some call it religious. Uh, for me, I've always seen it as an energetic exchange or conversation that I'm having um, outside of this physical existence. For many years of my life, I chose to spend more time there than I did in this physical realm. And over the years, I've talked to countless number of people about their experience, about their, they call it spiritual awakening, um, or their religious experiences, or their unexplained phenomenon. And what's interesting to me is that no matter who I talk to, no matter where they're from, if I distill what I'm hearing down to be able to speak to any of these people, all of these people, they're experiencing the same feelings, the same emotions, the same perceptual shift or change. Whether they're coming from a religious point of view or using some other vocabulary like a psychedelic uh, vocabulary or a meditative uh, vocabulary, it's all the same thing. And I like calling it energy. Um, I've gotten more comfortable over the years calling it spirit. But this is something that is a human experience. And to simplify, we can just say we're all having a human experience just using different words to explain that experience. Just like different languages, different religions, different cultures, but it's all a human experience, a human non-physical experience that we all share. And if we can get past the words, we can see each other for what we really are, which is humans.